Welcome to Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi Television Network. Today, the church remembers Saint Simacus. Simacus is a native of Sardinia. He was born on the Mediterranean island and he was serving there as Archdeacon of Rome when he was chosen to become Pope in the year 498. His election was immediately opposed by a segment of the Roman clergy who went so far as to elect an anti-pope on the very same day that Symmachus had been elected. The anti-pope and his followers embittered the early years of Symmachus' pontificate. And when at length the schism ended, Symmachus expressed his gratitude in an inscription on a church monument. It reads, The biting of the wolves has ceased. Simacus sent material assistance to the bishops of North Africa who were living in exile on his native land of Sardinia and who had been banished from their seas by the heretical king Trasimond. He also sent the bishops some relics of the matters to give them spiritual solace. His charity was likewise expended upon ransoming captives, founding three hospices for the needy, and relieving the victims of barbarian raids in northern Italy. It was Pope Symmachus who first expanded the use of the Gloria at Mass beyond its original utilization as a hymn heard only once a year at the Christmas Midnight Mass. Symmachus died on the 19th day of July of the year 514 and was buried in St. Peter's Basilica. He had ruled for 15 years, 7 months and 27 days. The papal throne was then vacant for 7 days. What can we learn from the life of Pope Symmachus? Our reflection continues after the break. Welcome back. Pope Symmachus is remembered for the so many good works he was able to accomplish during his papacy. He provided money and clothing to the Catholic bishops of Africa and Sardinia, those who had been exiled by the rulers of the Aryan Vandals. He also ransomed prisoners from Upper Italy and gave them gifts of aid. Pope Symmachus restored several churches in Rome and built three new basilicas, Saints Andrew, Pancras, and Agnes. Through his intercession, we pray to grow in our commitment and devotion to our daily tasks. In his footsteps, may we also aspire to bloom where we are planted as he did. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you willed to set St. Symmachus over your entire people and to go before them in word and example. 
By his intercession, keep the pastors of your church together with their flocks and guide them in the way of eternal salvation. Amen. Thanks for staying with us. It's been Saints of the Day on Lumen Christi TV.